Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Welcome to CS2, where we have some crazy news, including the NAR Mars take a weird turn, complexity is under new management, and the CS2 major Copenhagen stickers got leaked. All that coming up right now, but first, if you enjoy the video, like and subscribe, it really helps out the channel a ton. That being out of the way with, let's get into our first story, the NAR Mars. That's right, NAR Mars are officially over for today, and we have some crazy news including four teams are now bounced out of the tournament entirely. Elevate, Bestia, NRG, and Nouns, an early on favorite to go to the major, have all been bounced out at 0-2. You only need two losses to be bounced out the entire major. So I'm sorry for Elevate, Nouns, Bestia, and NRG. I was hoping that some of them would maybe squeak between the cracks, but unfortunately it didn't go that way. They're officially out of contention for the major. But teams still in the running. MAD with depth actually doing pretty dang well. Otic, Liquid, I never would have saw that name coming in one and one Legacy, Boss, Wildcard, Ren Candidates, and MIBR all at one and one This is basically the sudden death round. It is going best two out of three games now, from here on out, I believe. And all of them are one game away from being bounced out. So M80, Otic, Liquid, Legacy, Boss, Wildcard, and Red Candidates, and MIBR. You need to show your stuff because there's only five spots and you're one game away from being out of the major. And Liquid, with this juggernaut of a team, I never would have saw that one coming. I thought that they would have been where Furia is right now, but that juggernaut team that I said earlier on, link in the description below on that. Yeah, um, it's not looking like things are gelling very well. But with that being said, in the one on one category, the two and O's are really spicy. Imperial, Pain, Complexity, and Furia are all two and O and one game win away from the major. You have to win two out of three, but if you win those two games out of three, you're going to the major so Furia, complexity pain imperial holy moly you need one more you just need to go 3-0 and you get in the major this is a huge news out of imperial out of pain out of fear and out of complexity and in those matches we see it's boss versus liquid it's m80 versus wildcard pain takes on imperial in the two o's red candidates versus audit furia takes on complexity in the two o's and legacy take on mibr who are you rooting for who are you pulling for comment down below do you think furia is going to win against complexity to go to the major do you think imperial will take down pain to go to the major comment down below unbelievable stuff fury and complexity that's an insane game all on its own and speaking of complexity it's now under new ownership that's right jason lake and his best group have now acquired complexity from game square and i quote from hltv which by the way go check out the hltv articles down in the description game square has announced the sale of complexity gaming brand to an investor group called global esports properties led by the founder of the esports organization jason lake for 10.36 million dollars the vast majority will be paid out over three years. Jason Lake, what, is that, what does that remind you of? He used to own Complexity. This is now his second stint owning Complexity, and because he now owns Complexity, and Game Square is now owning Phase, well, that deal's gonna be brought out in the next couple of weeks. Game Square owning Phase Clan is no longer a direct conflict of interest into the major, which means both Complexity and Phase Clan are 100% cleared to go to the major, should Complexity go to the major. And again, comment down below, do you think Complexity is going to beat Furia? That is going to be a heck of a fight right there. But kudos to Complexity, getting their old owner back. $10.36 million is a lot of money for an organization, but I have total faith that this is a very good move and that Complexity is gonna have a bright future future in the next coming years. But coming off of heels that, we have one more breaking story. Have stickers been leaked in Copenhagen? Because as of right now, both Rain and JL have their stickers leaked. I have just been informed that, however, these have been denied sticker proposals. Valve have said, no, we're not going to go with these. Rain, I kind of understand because that is a 69 in Rain. I love that sticker. But JL's looks like a slime and Genshin impact. Pull that up real quick. Although I don't understand why JL else got declined it unfortunately did get declined but these two stickers are proof that this could be a very creative major which means this could be the most creative the most sought after and the highest anticipated major in cs 
is history, even over Paris, which was an all time high in sales. So comment down below, what do you think of the rain sticker? What do you think of the JL sticker? Even though they got declined, do you think Valve should have said, go ahead and put them in? Comment down below what you think about the stickers. And with that, that is the news here in CS. Man, it's been absolutely insane. My brain cannot handle this. There's so much breaking news. Who do you think is gonna win the NA major? Who do you think is gonna be the next team bounced out in the NA RMRs? Comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.